Hey everybody, how you doing? How you feeling? And how you living? I'm back at it again with another video, but this time I got a guest. Y'all know I never be having guests, but I'm getting real professional. Period. Um, I'm here with Bree, and I'll have her YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff linked below. So today we're doing a mukbang, a Wendy's mukbang. Mm. So mukbang, mukbang, whatever y'all call it. So I have loaded baconator fries. What? With chicken nuggets and a double bacon sandwich. Wow. And I got chili cheese fries and some awesome some nuggets with a little honey mustard sauce. They didn't give me no kind of sauce, but you know what, whatever. So <laughs> let's get into this video. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I don't even eat stuff like this. Oh yes. You'll see the healthy version of this on her channel. Oh yeah, guys. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's crazy. You need like a fork to eat your fries with, right? Yeah. Dang. What? Nah, I'll be okay. You good? Yeah. What do I want on my fries? I'm gonna do a little ketchup. They good? Mm hmm. Like the one time I be getting so excited when I have cheat meals. So let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. First, I gotta open up my sauce. Okay, you ready to get into it? We're gonna get into some things. So, say you're, you're in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're in a relationship. How long are you and your boyfriend been together? Almost two years now. Mm -hmm. This is what, a good thing. <laughs> no, good. So, you know how Cardi B took offset back? Mm. Say you in love for a long time, and you in like a, but you don't cheat. Like your boyfriend cheat one time, he done. Mm -hmm. You know, part of me can cheat a multiple times. Yeah. Kept taking them back. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Like cheating in period. Period. In First off, how do I feel about cheating? So it's not acceptable for nobody to cheat because if you gonna cheat, you might as well not be with the person, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like. Especially being that, I feel like niggas been cheating, but it's just like, it's going viral and stuff now. Like, we got cameras, we got all this stuff to be like, your nigga cheating, mm -hmm. DMs, we got the red receipt, we got all this stuff now. First, it's no excuse for cheating. But I would say, after the first time that somebody cheated on you, maybe, no, in fact, the first time if you take them back, y'all working on yourselves, you know, you getting it together, you know, I, who am I to judge you? But it's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. <laughs> then it's like, come on. Like, come on. Like, no, that's not that's not okay. Moving on. You just said moving on. No, I'm saying moving yeah, on. Yeah, no, I don't prove. Mm. Yeah. Like, that's clearly not, like, the person for you if they constantly cheating on you. You want to, okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about. Oh, my God, it's so good. I ain't never had no chili cheese fries like this before. Wow. Let's talk about, okay. See, I, I love, okay, most slept on artists. One, Jesse J. Okay. You know Jesse J? Isn't that my little baby? <laughs> is that not her? Jesse J is definitely a girl and not a rapper. She, okay. Who's that one girl that is in that? Maybe I can sing. Uh, I don't know who Jesse J is, so does she not slept on? Normani. I don't listen to her. Oh either. my god. Sorry. Oh my god. I listen to SZA, her, Summer Walker. But have you seen SZA Rihanna. sing live though? Yep. Yeah, it was on YouTube. And I know I see that last live video. Don't try to play my sis SZA. I'm just waiting for her to re release some new music. Period. Right. You know. But no, Ella May. I like that type of music. You know Mariah Carey. And I go in on some gospel. Oh. Stomp. <laughs> oh, y'all see this cheese? I know. That's why I keep trying to. Mm. Uh-huh. I thought it was You need a fork. Mm, I think I threw it away. You want one? Yeah, you got one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, we go to, would you classify this school as a PWR? Yes, it is a PWI, but it's because, yeah, it's a PWI. 
But do you think it's like diverse though? Cause you know people. It's very diverse. I went to a PWI high school, and mm, I just all growing up, I just like, man, I want to go to an all black school. Mm -hmm. Just like get that experience, but it never happened. I thought it's good. This is a good thing to say. And this boy was like, how the black parents be moving the black they kids to like the the PWI thinking it's a better education, mm -hmm. but everything that's not a better education is good for your child. True. That's true. And that's the real team. But I feel like most parents want the best for their child, and right. they want their child to be out there and not like stuck in the way that they was like growing up. So like I don't. I, you can't like I, I wouldn't blame the parent like oh you only had me at PWIs all my life because it's like you wanted the best for me. Mm -hmm. But who says that like an all black school isn't best for you? It's just that what we're what we're giving like the things that we're giving sometimes aren't the best like textbooks and we don't have computers and every like oh child I did like summer camp over the summer with some kids in Atlanta mm -hmm. and it was just like so sad like a lot of these kids not even going home like eating a lot of them parents don't care about them and stuff like that and you just gotta like you gotta deal with the circumstances that you have but when you're growing up it's kind of like you know you can beat those odds yeah. type thing mm. honey <laughs> these chili cheese fries are too good they got a little pepper in it. Like the, the, the bell peppers. peppers. They got bell peppers in it. That like cheesy. What kind of sauce is this? <clears throat> Let's talk about double standards. Mm. Yeah, Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because one thing I don't understand is like, oh no, backtrack. How do you feel about that? What's going on now, man? Watching all them videos about not liking wigs and stuff. Oh, child, don't even get me started. Nobody been saying nothing to the, none of these guys who don't exfoliate their face, oh. like, <laughs> who don't brush their teeth. Like, girls still be trying to talk to them. I, I feel like it's okay to have like standards and stuff with your girl, and it's like whatever she, you got her, like whatever she got you with, she should try to keep it up somewhat and stuff like that. I don't mind a guy saying like, you know, being natural. I'm a natural, I wear my hair natural all the time, but if I want to wear a wig, I'm gonna wear the wig. My boyfriend, for instance, he don't like when I be wearing wigs. But, you but I would wear still it. wear it anyway, because it's a protective style. That's a real thing. I actually don't like wigs. I don't think that I'm the best at wigs. Like, and sometimes, well, I'm gonna start trying to get into lace front wigs and stuff, because my wig, <laughs> it was this one time. I had my wig on and I was like in the public and nobody even told me like the wig was kind of sliding back. I said, damn. <laughs> I got in the car like, what the hell? Oh, hell no. Nah. All the people that was around me, y'all ain't real. No, not real. Hmm. Oh. It wasn't like dramatic or nothing, but I could tell. But I like wearing my natural hair. But if I would like, for instance, if I like wigs, you can't tell me I can't wear my wig. It's okay, like, to wear wigs. But you know, it'd be them girls that, like, they ain't got no. I'm not one to judge, but, like, they not even trying to take care of their natural hair. No, if your wig looks like a sun visor, you don't need to wear it. But no, it's not even about the. Oh, saying, well, like, it's not. Who, yeah, right. People who be having some long wigs, but underneath the wig, like, it be like, they not trying to take care of their natural hair. They not, their hair dry, stuff like that. But do you did you get what Meek Mill was trying to say when he tried to change his words? He was like, "I'm not saying girls not with wigs. He just have had a bad experience with mm -hmm. his girls and wigs." Yeah, I got what he was saying, but again, women can do what they want to do. Can't nobody stop us from doing what we want to do. And if you don't like it, you don't got to be with us. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> I got some strawberry lemonade. What you know about that Wendy strawberry lemonade? Mm -mm. I got some water right here. What y'all know about that? Alright. Pure life. Alright. <laughs> Not alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a little full. I'm getting full too. You got a whole burger left. He doing it for the for the YouTube. It ain't for the gram no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell them how much you spend on your meal. Nine dollars. Oh! I spent nine dollars on my meal. Bro, you made two meal preps and spent how much? Like four dollars. <laughs> two meal preps for four dollars and nine dollars for one meal. 
You choose. So where do you see your channel in like the next year? I want to. Okay. Something that everybody tunes into. Uh -huh. like, I want my channel to be like, have you seen some of this new video? Yeah, like an episode kind of. Yes. Like, you know how them YouTubers that you do not miss? I want to yeah. be like that. I want people to be talk calling other people like, did you see Stephon in the video? Mm -hmm. Look where he went. People can do that now. You just got to have certain supporters. No. I don't want to be known by everybody. I, like, I want my audience to be like everybody. I don't know. Like, I mean, I want my audience to be everybody. I want it to be very diverse. That's why I like like being you. If you the idea of being like YouTube famous, it's like people on YouTube know you, but not everybody in the whole world know you. Like, for instance, if Beyonce do something or Beyonce mess up, then everybody gonna be like, "Oh shit, she mm -hmm. gonna be on the shade room." Like YouTubers, we ain't gonna be on the shade. It's kind of like, okay, well, YouTube, you know, I did a mistake. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for instance, Meat Mill situation. He just said that, and hella people over here like, "Oh hell no!" Nah. Like. I feel like people are not going to be as strict on you when you are YouTube famous as that's they would if you famous. Perhaps. That's a good point. What do you see your channel? Hmm. I really want to... I see my channel first collabing with a lot of people. Mm. Getting like money. Like I want to make a living off of YouTube. Like YouTube has always been a dream of mine. Ever but like ever since I was um, in high school, I would just be talking to people about YouTube. Like, but I never started. Like I was saying in my, my video, like I was always fearful mm -hmm. of certain stuff. And it's like, you got to start when you can start. You might not have it all together, but you got to start if it's your dream. So in a few years, I just hope that I'm living off of YouTube. I want to like really have a nice view where I can edit videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just I just be imagining all this stuff. Like, like, I love it today. We yes, yes, it. yes. That apartment with that nice view. Mm -hmm. Like, or a condo that I can buy. I don't want to rent out no condos no more because it's like you giving money to people. I want like a condo I can buy with a really nice view. The sun up, like every time the sun shining, it's shining on my face. Like, like mm -hmm. that's just good vibes to me. I can, just can't wait. And if you've seen my, like, the New Year's resolution video I posted the other day, mm -hmm. I talked about <clears throat> how, like, I know not everybody's going to, there's some days you're going to have good views, some days you're going to have bad views. Not everybody's going to like what you say. Right. So you have to have, I feel like YouTube, you have to have, like, tough skin in a way. You do. You know? And that's what I was waiting on when I, like, when I got my YouTube, because I used to care what people think a lot. But now it's kind of like, I'm so confident and good with myself. Like, I don't really care what people think. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what you, People think I do care, but then it, like I care to an extent. Like I feel like you should care just a little bit, yeah. but not to the point where I used to be like, "What if I post this and they be over here like, no, like forget that I'm gonna post what I want to post mm -hmm. type thing." Yeah, when I got my first dislike on YouTube, I when I tell you I was so happy. <laughs> you was happy? Yeah. Why? Ooh, I got a negative person. Not everybody liking my stuff. I got a dislike. Like my first dislike, I was like. <laughs> I was the opposite, like, they dislike me. <laughs> but then, like, now on my videos, I begin getting, like, dislikes all the time. But my likes outweigh the dislikes. It's kind of like, like, you gonna go through stuff in life, but your, your victories gonna outdo mm -hmm. those things that you go through. Oh, you know, hey, oh, you're full for real? I know you full. Full, yeah. Full, full. full? <laughs> I'm full. I be trying not to like push them. You see, I'm over here still playing with these. They so good though. All right, y'all. Well, I hope right. you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want us to collab again, you know the deal. Comment under. You know what? I'm yeah. proud of y'all, my subscribers. Because when I be asking y'all to comment what y'all want to see, y'all be commenting and stuff. I had one video like that. It was only three comments, but it was still like progress. I was just like, I usually be like, comment below and nobody comment. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want us to collab again, if you like this collab, let right. us know. Remember to follow Brie and then look at the video that she posted. I will have it linked below. And you know what I always say when I close out my what? video? I say, just say be true after I say be you. Okay. And after that, be you. Be true. And be a tenderoni. <laughs> no, but for real, subscribe to my channel too. And go watch our month that we got together. Bye.